Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Ate in a Day video. Just like my previous videos, you know that I always start my day with a big glass of water and today I actually squeezed in some fresh lemon juice and also some freshly grated ginger. I saw this in another What I Ate in a Day video on YouTube and it was such a good idea because I love ginger. So I just grated like an inch of ginger, squeezed in half of a lemon, and I used my Soma water filter, which we got on Amazon and have been absolutely loving it. So I'll put that in the description below. And water is just a really great way to kickstart your day, gets your digestive system moving, and is great to kickstart your metabolism. So after I drink my water, I go out for my walk with Trevi, and then we get back and I do my workout, and then it's time for breakfast. So for breakfast today, I had another smoothie bowl because you guys know how much I love smoothie bowls. So this was a peanut butter and protein green smoothie bowl. And the base was just spinach, some cucumber, some frozen bananas, my favorite peanut butter in the whole wide world, which is from Vermont. It's the Vermont creamy peanut butter. And then also the Vega Sport performance protein powder in the vanilla flavor and I'm really liking this stuff post-workout because um, it has it's really high in protein it has 25 grams of protein per scoop and it also has some BCAAs so I start with my base of spinach then it's my cucumber the banana scoop of peanut butter some protein powder So I also just have to add a little bit of water usually to help the contents swirl around. So I'm using my Blendtec Twister Jar. This means that I can get the consistency super thick without having to add a lot of extra liquid. And you can see here, it's basically the consistency of soft serve ice cream, which is exactly how I like it. It's like having dessert for breakfast, which is amazing. And today I topped my smoothie bowl with cacao nibs for some crunch, also some coconut flakes and some hemp seeds for some extra protein. Of course, as always, I ate my breakfast at my desk and I was actually working on a brand new challenge that just launched. It's called the Simply Fit 28 Day Challenge and if you're interested in learning about that, you can check that out in the description below. I'll leave a link to it. And this is one of the smoothies from the plan. So it's definitely one of my favorites. It has some awesome peanut butter flavor filled with greens and it's just so delicious. For my mid-morning snack, I started with some herbal tea, and the tea that I used is from August Uncommon Tea, which is based in Los Angeles, and it's the Sweet Rhubarb Lemon Verbena and Chamomile Blend, and it is absolutely amazing. It's so fragrant, but also really flavorful, and it just tastes so delicious. As that was brewing or steeping, I just sliced up a red apple. Um, I think this is a gala apple, and I love having apples as a snack. I usually dip them in peanut butter, but because I had peanut butter in my smoothie, I decided to just have the apple, and plus I wasn't all that hungry, so just an apple was perfectly fine. Lunch today was super simple. I started with zucchini roll-ups, and then I had some leftover quinoa chopped salad in the fridge. So the zucchini roll-ups are kind of like sushi. Um, you use the zucchini as you would the rice paper, so I thinly sliced it on a mandolin slicer, and then you fill it with hummus and veggies. So the veggies that I used were carrots and asparagus. For the carrots, I again used the mandolin slicer, and then I cut them into thin strips, I julienned them. And the hummus, the base that I used, was a hummus that I found at Whole Foods. It's a spicy variety from kava. So just like you would like any kind of sandwich or roll-up, you just spread the hummus on the bottom, and then you top it with your veggies. And then I see it's kind of hard to see with the video, but um, I just rolled it up and turned them into like little zucchini sushis, I guess. <laughs> um, they're absolutely delicious. They're really quick and they're actually pretty portable too, so they're great office snacks. And um, they're actually, I would say, not that filling, so that's why I decided to have the quinoa chopped salad on the side. So this is a blend of two salads that I like. It's a spinach base with some cabbage, carrots, peppers, just basically like everything that we had in the fridge. And I threw in some quinoa to add some protein. The dressing was I think just a really simple lemon olive oil dressing and it was the perfect combo really. It was really high in veggies, which I love, but also there was some good plant-based protein and it was really filling. 
course I had it on my desk because I always eat lunch at my desk. Um, overall, I was really full and I loved it. Afternoon snack today was super simple. It was just avocado, half of an avocado with some lime and sea salt. So I just sliced my avocado in half and you know when you slice an avocado and you first open it, you're just like praying that it's gonna open and be the most perfect avocado? Well, this one wasn't. <laughs> um, it definitely had a little bit of bruising, but whatever, I'll just make sure to scoop that out. So I just squeezed it with a little bit of lime juice and sprinkled it with my favorite salt, which is pink Himalayan salt mixed with some flaked pepper. And it's like kind of spicy, but salty. And with the lime juice, it was so, so good. And because avocados are high in really good fats, it was actually surprisingly filling. And it was the perfect thing to hold me over between lunch and dinner. We kept dinner super simple tonight. It was just a strawberry spinach salad, which is a base of spinach, of course. And then you add in some fresh strawberries. So I sliced my strawberries in, I think some of the smaller ones were just quartered and then the larger ones I just sliced into like chunks. Um, you really want them to be big enough that you get a nice bit of sweetness with every single bite. And then after the strawberries, I also decided to add in some chickpeas, which were just makes the salad a little bit more substantial and gives it some protein, so it makes it a little bit more filling. For the dressing, I have one on the blog that uses mint, but I didn't have mint, so I decided to use basil instead. So it's just fresh basil, some extra virgin olive oil, some lime juice, and some raw honey. This is the honey that I bought from Whole Foods. Um, it's mountain forest raw honey. It's really good, it's organic. I really like it. And you just add those all into a blender and you'll blend it until it's smooth and no more kind of chunks or leaves of the basil remain. So it's the basil, the olive oil, the lime juice, some honey. It's probably just half of a teaspoon of honey. Just a little bit of sweetness, which really balances out the strawberries too, which is just lovely. And some sea salt. And I pop on the top of the blender and I blend away until it is smooth. So once you have your salad dressing blended up, you just drizzle it over the rest of the ingredients and toss everything together with some salad tongs. And I will say that the basil made the dressing a little bit more green than the minted. I'm not sure why, maybe I used a little extra or something but it was still just as delicious and I actually really liked the basil flavor. So I'm definitely gonna be making this dressing again for another salad. And of course, as I usually do, I sprinkled the top with hemp seeds. You guys know how much I love hemp seeds. They were in my Buddha bowl and I use them all the time. And this ended up being a really delicious and filling salad and it was honestly the perfect way to end the day. It was summery, light, and so flavorful and I just loved it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.